I chose a bad day to go on the Vox Fav. It is currently going to be raining. The entire day I'm going to be here. It's not fun. Well, I'm still in this apartment room for now. Uh, I'm just trying to get everything packed up. I've got myself the Polish equivalent to Gatorade slash Powerade called Oshi. It's actually a really nice drink. I don't often drink this type of drinks, like sugary drinks, but um, Poland, in Poland it's really difficult to try and actually get water. Like, all I drink is water. It's quite difficult to find still water because there's about a million different coloured lids, so... Any that I pick up essentially is always going to be fizzy because I've had that issue before with Poland. Um, but yeah, almost packed up in the room. It doesn't look that nice at the moment because I still need to get rid of some rubbish, but I've got my laptop to pack away and then I've got my bag over here. It's, there's not too much left for me to pack up really. Once I've packed up then um, I just need to like brush my teeth and then we'll be ready to go. I should be going really because checkout is in it is too blurry. Uh, 10 minutes or so, about 12 minutes from now, check out. So uh, I'm just going to be packing up, checking out. Then we'll see what Wotswab have for us. It's too bright for you to see out there at the window at the moment. But we're going to see what the city has in store for us. And uh, yeah, to really take it, take it from there. I still need to do a bit of research. And this is too bright. I still need to do a bit of research into exactly what we'll be doing. But... Let's hope that Wotswab is a, a great city and it's not been a, a waste of time coming here. I'm sure there'll be stuff to do. I'm sure there'll be stuff that we can uh, explore and see while we're here. And then tonight we'll be heading over to the next city, which I'm yet to decide where I'm going because I've not booked the hotel yet. I've you know, not really decided where I'm going. But I'm thinking it might either be Łódź or Warsaw. Uh, but we'll, we'll decide that later on in the vlog. For now, we're just going to uh, pack up everything. I'm going to get ready and get out of this room before uh, I leave late because that will then mean charges and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, explore this lovely city of Wotswab. This fella's having a great day of all these parking tickets. Okay, I'm going to use this time right here just to like look up some things like where to park and pos possibly what to do because I don't want to be messing around, especially in the rain. Um, yeah, essentially, apparently, Wotswab is a city where you can just get around easily. I saw there were trams yesterday as I was driving over the tram lines, etc. So, uh, somewhere to park this car during the day while I, while I am able to walk around and do things would be really nice. Uh, obviously, if I don't need to drive around, that'd be you know, even better. Back onto driving. Man, these Polish drivers are actually so insane. Like, they're crazy. A lot of them, like, tailgate you. A lot of them speed way past the speed limit. The speed limit is already really high at 140 kilometers an hour on the motorways. Um, yeah, a lot of them are just, like, very aggressive and very dangerous drivers. It's, um, it's fun, but it's also very nerve-wracking sometimes driving here in Poland, to say the least. And I've only been doing it now for, like, one day. So, um, yeah. <laughs> One more, another day's worth of driving today. Let's see how we can get on. Well, I've made it to the car park, which was only about 10 minutes away from where I was. So we're going to go out of the car. We're going to go and explore Wotswav for whatever it has. Uh, it is raining, so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to record outside because I don't want to get my equipment all wet. You know, we'll see what we can do there. Uh, apparently today's like the only rainy day. Um, and then like the rest of the week should be fine. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully that's the case. Um, don't want to get anything wet or ruined, especially my backpack as well. I've got like stuff in my backpack. Um, that I don't want to get ruined like other equipment, my laptop, etc. Bye bye. Leaving the car and actually quite a spacious gap. Enough room down the side for bicycles to get down there. It's quite a good car park actually overall. <laughs> As you can see, super wet outside right now. I'm heading towards something called Ruska 46C, as long as I can cross this road. When I say Ruska 46C, that's the address of this place. I've gone down too far, I think. Ruska 45. Somewhere down this corridor that I'm in right now. We'll try walking down. There's literally a big sign that says Ruska. Ruska 46. Complete numpty, forgot my wallet, left it in the car, so I have to walk all the way back to the car park just to grab my wallet 
and then we can carry on going to where I was planning to go. Found it. Well, now I've got my wallet, we can head back out into that miserable weather and actually attempt number two, trying to find this place. Uh, some guy told me it was around the corner. I'm gonna go check that out. The car's coming. I just had to double check up there because there's a big ramp and cars just bolted down here. The absolute chaos it is right here in Botswana. It's constant noise everywhere outside. It's absolutely mental. Where is this place? Jesus Christ, listen to that. Okay, I think I found it. 46. Okay, I found 46C. I just need to find the Neon Gallery. Yeah. There it is. Oh, hello. Uh, is this the Neon Gallery? Damn, uh, uh, Neon Insight Gallery. There. Yes, two. Okay. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I get you. To, uh, so, night. Night, night, not, night. Not yeah, yeah, night, yeah, cool. Well, okay. Moment, one moment. Not outside. So, no, that's fine. Thank you very much for your help. So, yes. uh, Jim Queer. So, the Neon Gallery is actually outside in this horrible rain all around here, and I was just too stupid to realise that all of these random signs are actually ready to be lit up. Well, I'm not having a lot of luck right now. So one, I tried to find a neon gallery, which is actually just outside, and it's just, you know, you have to wait for night time. Two, I tried to find the location for the oldest uh, cafe or restaurant in Europe. The oldest restaurant in Europe, 730 years old. And then temporarily closed, most probably because of COVID-19. So that's two things right there that I've failed on so far. Third thing. Let's try this. Okay, so right now we're gonna go to a place called Kerna Chatter, which is a traditional Polish uh, restaurant slash bar, I guess. Check out some traditional Polish food. It's just a big statue of a chair. Most random thing ever. Take a seat. It's huge. It's like 30 foot. This is a really interesting street. Just look at all the coloured houses down here. I almost missed this because I was like walking in the rain. Didn't want to be in the rain too long. Literally looked over and I saw this sort of like Shrek looking castle type of look to it. I thought oh, that's pretty cool. It's not real brick, it's all painted on. But it's just super cool. And right here next to the road. We have this little beauty, Kerner Chata, which is an original Polish food place. There's no tourism about it. Just my luck that they're closed. That's one of the doors. It's down a side alley. That was the other door. They're closed. We're just going to go find some other cafe down the street. I think this entire street, to be honest, is like traditional foods, I hope. Uh, if not, we'll have to settle for something a little bit more westernised. My Polish soup with chicken and noodles. Tasty food I must say, even though it was just a chicken soup, it was actually really good for what it was. Uh, heading to a cable car now, let's see what that's like, it's a rainy day, might as well be indoors for as much as I can, so I'm going to walk there, get the tram, or some sort of public transport, then a cable car. There goes my tram, I missed it, didn't realise it was my tram because it was actually a few minutes late. So I assumed by the time I got here, it was already gone. Uh, I only have to wait about 15 minutes for the next one. 
not much of an issue really, but it's 15 minutes, at least I'm in the shelter. You know, weather's not gonna get me too bad, so it's okay. We go up to the other end, then we have to do some walking. Great, 15 minutes with this as my view. And this, basically right next to the main road, hence why it's so, so noisy and so busy. Walking around, I finally found the uh, cable cut, which is over this direction, just over a bridge from this way, right next to, uh, I think, university, just behind me. We'll try and cross this road. Always forget which way I need to look. I dock away from this station going back to where I just came from. It's only like a two minute tram ride, uh, or tram, what are they called? Cable car ride. It's only a two minute cable car ride. Uh, and as I head back over the river Uda, um, I felt I might explain quickly that the reason that this is here is because there's two sides of a university. One side being there where I just docked from, the other side being over on the other side of river Uda over there where we just came from a minute ago, where I originally was from. And uh, essentially the students would be late to class all the time and they would use the explanation or the excuse that they couldn't get over the river in time in order to actually get to their class. So the university decided to build them this uh, cable cart system so the students can get to one side and the other. And then luckily they actually opened up the cable cart system for tourists to come here and use it themselves if they wanted to get from one side to the other. Uh, as you can see now, the river is right behind me. It's quite a big river, and it's super overexposed. Oh well, yeah, it's a it's it's a big river, and the students had to go over, and there's there's not really many ways. I don't see many bridges. I see one bridge, but it's for like cars and not really people walking. So that's the reason they made this cable cut here. Um, yeah, it's just so students can get from one side to the other, but it's also open to the public. Um, that's about it. It's very cheap. It's one Zolotti 70, so it's, uh, that really works out to be like dirt cheap. To put it into perspective, 170 in Zwati, which by the way was each way, so altogether it was double 170. 170 in pounds is only 34p, so both ways you can go over there and come back for a total of 68p, which one 170 would work out to be 340. Zwati is a very cheap currency. It's like four Zwati at the moment to, uh, I think, a uh, UK pound. And not only that, but Poland is a very cheap place to live in general. And apart from like the touristy areas which may charge you more, but overall, Poland's very cheap. So you can get by on almost nothing, really. Ooh, okay, back in the car. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be to my next destination, which is Łódź. Um, i got no signal down here because I am in uh, a car park and you never normally get signals in car parks. That's it for my adventure here in Wrocław. It's now time to move on to the next city, like I said, is Łódź. Um, yeah, that's from memory about a two and a half hour drive, if I remember correctly. But I need to adjust it once I actually get out of this car park because, like I said, there's no internet connection down here. Um, yeah, okay, cool. On to the next city, which is Wuj. comfy in this room as in a little bit smaller but this is an actual hotel and not an apartment whereas my place yesterday was an apartment let's take this mask off because it was my last one because my other one I left in the car uh, but anyway yeah it's a smaller room whereas yesterday I had just a little bit more room because I had like a kitchen and then a bunk bag that went above um, yeah today it's just a pretty standard hotel it was just cheap so uh, let's check out the bathroom nothing special just uh, shower, toilet, 
a bog standard hotel room really huh. well right now we're in Wuj, which is how you say that word that you know the city i'm in not Lodz, as most english people would probably say just like how the city i was in today was called vlotswav and not Vroklaw or however again british people would pronounce it definitely not vlotswav definitely not Wuj, uh, unless you know how to pronounce it anyway this is where I am and I'm going to end the video here because basically that is my day over with. Uh, again, more driving, tipping it down with rain. Uh, driving was a bit easier actually coming to Wolj. There wasn't as many crazy Polish drivers coming up right at the back of my car like tailgating me or trying to flash me or beat me or um, you know, whatever it may be. Uh, people that actually stick into the speed limits and I actually managed to see one speed camera. This is the only speed camera I've seen in the entirety of Poland so far out of like the 600 kilometers that I've done. I don't think there are speed cameras really that frequently, but again, being a foreigner, I don't really want to chance anything like that. That's if I haven't already chanced it, you know, because um, I have no idea what speeds I was doing on the first day because literally the road signs do not say what speed you're doing. It's ridiculous, as in like, it doesn't say what speed uh, each road is. You have to know. You literally have to know. Uh, motorways are 140, you have to know dual carriageways are 120, etc. So, it can be quite difficult. It can be quite easy to get caught out speeding, especially if you're a foreigner. Anyway, I think that's it from this video. I quite enjoyed vlogs we have. Uh, I'm hoping Woolwich will be a really nice city again. Honestly, I've done no research at all into Woolwich. It's just an interesting place name. And it's a city as well, so I figured it'd be an interesting place to visit. I just hope it isn't uh, an industrial city because then maybe there's not going to be too much to do. Uh, obviously, it's night time and it's pissing it down with rain outside, so I have no idea when I was driving in like what what was what I was seeing to be honest. Uh, but it reminded me of America, just the big roads um, and like big uh, like shops all on the side. Everything's lit up, so. Good science for tomorrow. Hopefully I'll do a bit of research tonight and see what's up. For the rest of the night, I'm going to be editing some videos. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, rate, subscribe. All that good stuff helps me out. Let's YouTube those that you like my content. And with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.